you've seen any of my videos where I discuss 2021 two packs, whether those are any of my reviews of the 2021 two packs or uh, any of the my thoughts episodes where I discuss like the 2021 posters or whatever, then you're probably aware that I'm really not the biggest fan of the 2021 two packs. Originally, I had this whole big video planned about why I'm not a fan of them, but I decided I'm going to save that for a big end of 2021 reflection on all the cars that came out this year that I'm going to do at the end of this year instead. But it really boiled down to a few different factors. There's a lack of new releases in 2021 two packs, and the 2021 two packs just keep on reusing cars. In fact, several of the 2021 two packs are just straight up repacks of former two packs, or include one car that was previously in a two pack and another different car. They're really just reusing the same cars. I feel like it's a cycle of them just reusing the same cars in two packs, and it was just, I, I don't know, it's really disappointing for me to see them just reusing the same cars again and again. In fact, if you look at all of 2021's two packs, every single car in them, with the exception of that one new release of Double Clutch Daily, has been out in some form, most of them in previous two packs, since 2018. Okuni and Shigeko here are the only two cars in a two pack in 2021 that haven't been released since before 2018. The last time we saw these two was in 2016. However, they were in this exact same two pack. So once again, 2021's cars line reusing two packs. Anyway, though, guys, with that long intro out of the way, I just wanted to explain some of my issues with this year's two packs. Welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Okuni and Shigeko, which is actually the last 2021 two-pack I'll be picking up since it's the last one with cars that I don't have in it. That being Okuni, who I somehow missed out on through all of her several releases. I got Shigeko, uh, her 2015 single release, for my birthday back in 2019, but now it's nice to finally have Okuni, of course, the two, I believe, Kabuki dancers from Cars 2 in Japan. There is a third one which is, I believe, Tamiko, who is the one with the umbrella, the pink one with the umbrella, who unfortunately hasn't been released since 2012. I wish she were in the pack instead of Shigeko, because I have no idea what I'm going to do with the spare Shigeko. Okuni and Shigeko have been out all the time, but the third one, she hasn't been out since 2012. Very nice artwork of the two of them. Uh, moving on to the back, you can see as seen in Cars 2 with Eric Lanley and Alex Carville on a two-pack, just like back in 2019. And we have Okuni and Shigeko there. Again, Okuni is a car that I really remember from the like Cars 2 marketing. I feel like they really like promoted her out of all of the background characters in Cars 2. Um, so I just kind of find it kind of odd that I didn't get her until then. Of course, if you know me, you know that I love uh, the Cars 2 background characters, especially the Tokyo one. So. I don't know, kind of weird that I didn't have her until now. But here are Okuni and Shigeko out of the package. This, of course, is their first time uh, being released, made in Thailand. So let's start off with Okuni here. Of course, with the very nice red designs with some sort of wheel patterns around her. Of course, supposed to be reminiscent of flowers, but since this is a Cars universe, their wheels have this little dot there sort of representing like a, uh, like a birthmark. Got the red lipstick there, a whole lot smaller than her actual mouth. Definitely, you know, looks accurate to the real life uh, counterparts that they are like emulating here that they're based off of. Of course, the car is painted in all white, representing the white face paint. We've got the red here over the eyelashes or on top of the eyelashes. We've got some nice sort of flower detailing on either side of what, of course, in real life is supposed to be the hair, but here it's sort of like a hat or spoiler. You can see these designs, the sort of like carbon fibery design that you could also find on Max Schnell and like Boost Spoiler. Of course, in real life, this is hair, uh, complete with sort of the picks sticking out of it. You've got the flowers up top there, very nice. Even more of these nice wheel designs all over the side. I really like how intricate the, uh, wheels of these cars are they look really nice i really like that there's shigeko as you can see that in blue moving on to the back another really nice touch having this part sort of draped down um you can see it almost touches the ground which is just such a nice bit of additional detail got her backlights there of course this part is 
covering up the license plate. There's a look at our other side, which features the fan folded out with another sort of wheel flower design. And there is a look at the base. And then moving on to Shigeko, she's very similar to Okuni, just with blue highlights instead of red. Interestingly, we've got this sort of blue faded design above the blue on her, uh, her eyelashes there, which really isn't present on the artwork. I mean, it sort of is, if you look hard enough. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. It's kind of difficult to see on camera, but you could sort of see a bit of a blue tint there, a bit of a red tint for Okuni, but it's definitely a lot more prominent on the die cast. Of course, this is the first Made in Thailand release for the two of them. This is the uh, Made in China version from back in 2015. You can see the eyes on the Thailand one, definitely a bit bigger. Her mouth is actually open, which is nice. Bit of a slightly different model than Okuni with that different expression there. We've got the headlights for her. I really like how her fan is facing the other side. Of course, in the movie, they're facing each other and they sort of dance around like that. Interestingly, her fan has a different color wheel on it. It's blue on the Thailand version, but it isn't really uh, on the China version. It's more of a purple, honestly. But yeah, definitely a lighter blue matching the rest of the fan here. We've got the same sort of wheel patterns. Let's see if they're in the same places. Yeah, they're basically in the same places uh, as Okuni's are. Of course, we've got all the same details as Okuni up top, just in blue instead of red and pink. Got a light blue and dark blue instead. There's a look at the back, once again, same as Okuni, and same as her uh, other variant there except the colors are definitely a bit more faded on this one for the, like the intricate wheel patterns. There is a look at the other side. Yeah, definitely less um, colorful on the sides, which is definitely unfortunate. Really kind of faded compared to uh, the Min China version. Like look at that, and then look at that. It's definitely uh, quite a bit duller, which is unfortunate. But there is the other side. Again, all the same things in the same places as on Okuni. And there is a look at the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that next year they step up their game with the two packs. I don't know. This year's really disappointed me. But this is definitely a nice two pack, even though we have seen it before. Definitely glad to finally have Okuni. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to let me know your thoughts on the 2021 two packs in general in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. See you guys next time. Bye now.